आओ तुम्हें अलग कश्मीर दिखाती हूँ हसीन वादियों से परे आतंकी मुठभेड़ का संघर्ष बताती हूँ शमशीर के साय तले जन्नत पलती है इसकी मिसाल दिखाती हूँ तुम्हें कैप्टन दीपक शर्मा की वीर गाथा सुनाती हूँ It was 3rd July 1983 the day on which Shri Naresh Sharma and Shrimati Indu Sharma were blessed with a baby boy the boy who was going to have a short span of life but was going to bring laurels to the Sharma family they hail from Bidlan village in the Sonipat district of Haryana and Deepak being their only son they ensured that his upbringing was full of deep love since his childhood days Captain Deepak was groomed with the qualities of dedication, bravery and commitment as he grew up listening to the inspirational stories of his grandfather who had fought in the Second World War. As expected, all of this was going to make armed forces the love of Deepak's life and he started dreaming about joining the armed forces. After completing his graduation from Maharshi Dayanand University, he cleared the first stage towards fulfilling his childhood dream as he got recommended to join the officers training academy. The morning of 16th September 2006 must have filled Deepak's heart with joy and satisfaction as he finally donned the olive green, put on the stars on his shoulders, and got commissioned into the Corps of Signals, an arm considered to be the nervous system of the Indian Army. After serving in his first posting, Captain Deepak Sharma was then deputed on his second posting in 2008 to serve with the 42 Rashtra Rifles, a unit known for its impressive record in anti-terror operations. A few months later, in 2010, Captain Sharma's unit was deployed in the Pulwama district of South Kashmir, which was known for being as the hotbed of terrorists. On 4th March 2010, on receiving specific information, Captain Deepak Sharma and his troops were tasked to clear a house where the terrorists belonging to the Hizbul Mujahideen were hiding in the Dadsara village of Pulwama district. However, The operation was tedious as the target house was located in a densely populated area and in close proximity of a mosque and hence the operation had to be carried out with precision to minimize the collateral damage the forces could have easily blown up the house to ensure no casualty but that would have jeopardized the safety of the mosque the indian security forces will risk their own lives but will put their every effort to secure the faith of the people and so to ensure this captain deepak sharma with extreme courage and focus objective entered the house along with his buddy through a window by tossing hand grenades gunfight ensued soon after and captain sharma spotted a terrorist fired at him and killed him in the first room at point blank range he then bravely crawled into the next room undeterred by the heavy fire and volley of bullets raining at him by the militants on spotting two militants hiding under a staircase showing complete disregard to his own safety he attacked them and killed them on the spot the mission was accomplished but unfortunately during the heavy exchange of fire captain deepak also sustained bullet injuries on his neck and was seriously injured he was evacuated to the hospital but the bullets had done their job 42 rr lost its lion hearted young officer as captain deepak sharma succumbed to his injuries and was martyred This story should also be an eye opener for those who accuse the security forces of high-handedness because had it been the case the destruction would have been of the mosque and not the dreams of the captain sharma's family Captain Sharma had declined a job from the Sony Ericsson to join the army His mother recorded statements saying everybody has a date with fate and so did my son but he met his date with fate as a warrior as a shurveer It was just 20 days before his martyrdom that Captain Sharma got engaged to a serving lady officer from the Signals Regiment itself and they had decided to tie the knot in June that year. Little did anybody know that Captain Sharma had already tied a knot with destiny, a knot that made bravery bow down before him and made history record his name in the list of lion-hearted warriors. The account of Captain Sharma's bravery is also recorded in the war diary of the 42RR Battalion. Captain Deepak Sharma was a valiant soldier and a committed officer who laid down his life in the service of the nation at the tender age of 26 years for his exemplary courage unfaltering leadership and supreme sacrifice he was given the nation's second highest peace time gallantry award the kirti chakra summing this up with a poem that captain sharma's friend wrote for him after his demise tere bare mein likhne ka to bahana bhar hai tujhe yu dekh ke dil ko samjhana bhar hai teri maujoodgi का तेरे ये मुस्कान इशारा भर है दिल तो सच में तुझे करता है कि गले लगाने का यूँ तस्वीर को देख लेना भाई उसका एहसास भर है इस एहसास के भी हम कर्जदार हैं तेरे 
इस मुस्कान पे भी हम निसार है तेरे तेरी शहादत फुला देती है सीना सबका तेरे शेर दिली पर फक्र है सबको जय हिंद